All right, now we got AutoCAD open. Uh, here's the start page. It shows you the last few things that you worked on. What I'd like to do first is make a template. We're going to need a template to work with in class. This one's going to have styles and everything built into it. And we want ours to have a few things specific to just us. So what I want to do is go over here to the A. And right now I'm going to start with a new. Click on this guy. This opens up your template subdirectory, and you should find one here called AutoCAD Civil 3D Imperial NCS. We're going to use that as a basic template for everything we do in class. That gives us a nice template that's pretty much just a nice black background, and it has two layout tabs, both of which are already currently set up for 8.5 by 11. So, with that, this gives us everywhere we want to start. We'll notice here on the prospector tab, right now everything is blank. There's a um, you know, plus next to alignments, but nobody's home, of course. And the same with some of those other ones, they're just hiding categories. I currently don't have any data shortcuts set up, but what I do want is this tab here on the settings tab. We want to make sure that we have a few surface styles, those will be in the NCS, based on the National CAD standards layers. There'll be a couple of label styles here for these. We're going to change one of these off the bat. And, of course, everything else should at least have a few styles. So, you know, profile styles. Profile views should have some profile view styles. That's what we want to have. As long as there isn't anything in here that says just standard, that's bad. <laughs> or at least that's uh, nothing. All right. What we want to do is go here to the first layout. I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to rename this. Right click, rename. I'm going to call this one here for basically full size. Mm -hmm. 22, no, 22 by 34. It's going to be a full size D paper. But right after I said that, we're not going to set it up that way because I want to have a little extra margin. I'm going to go over here, right click on this again, and this time go to Page Setup Manager. And here, now I see my newly named layout, I want to modify this. We can see currently it's set up not to do anything particular, you know, no page setup, no name. Everything we're going to do for class is going to be a PDF. So I like to use this DWG to PDF, it gives me the PDF that I want. Not that the other one, the AutoCAD to this one, Adobe PDF, it works too. It just you know, does some strange things. In the DWG to PDF, that gives us our paper sizes. I like to use this one right here, which is the Architectural D36 by 24. So that's one inch on every side bigger than what we need. Um, I always like to print the extents of my entire space, and I like it to center it for me. And for now, we're going to use this guy right here, Monochrome, for a CTB because we're going to print everything based on a color. Everything else in here, the default should be just fine. Don't pick fit to paper. That just always throws your scale off. And scale line weights is good if we ever set this from something other than one inch equals one unit. For right now, that'll be fine. Say okay. We're gonna say okay or close. Now we can see that our paper is definitely bigger than our space. This guy here, if we look at the line that exists in the drawing, if you hit Control one and look at the properties, you can see this is already a viewport. Not too bad. I'm going to take him and move him from layer 0 to this layer, C Annotation V-Frame. That should turn him kind of a blue color. That's good. Since I have limited space, I'm going to close that. Zoom in. Uh, there we go. Zoom in to make that big. And the first thing I want to do is I want to set up the limits of my paper. So like I mentioned before, since we called this full 22 by 34, I'm just going to make a polyline. I'm going to start down here, hit F8 so it snaps ortho, not snaps, but goes ortho, 22 inches, come over 34 inches, down 22, and then close the polyline. Then I'm going to offset that polyline 3 quarters of an inch. Just like this. Ta-da! There we go, we got ourselves a nice little boundary. 
And then the last thing I want to do is I want to give myself a space over here for some data. So just for kicks, I'm going to draw a line from the top to the bottom. And I just want to move that line that I put in. I'm going to move this line over three inches. All right, so I have a three inch space over here that I can put some notes and data. I have a viewport in here that I'm going to take and I'm going to take this guy and stretch it to fill the better part of this space. We're going to change it, of course, as time goes on, but for now it'll be fine. Then down here I want to put a text box in. So I'm just going to do T for text. Come down here, turn off my snaps. Get in about this space here. I want to put a few things in. One, of course, is going to be what project. Project 01, let's say. We're going to change that number. I'm going to come down here and put in a name. And we'll put in a date. Today is March 29th, 2020. All right. And for now, that should be enough. Hit close, and there we go. Now I do zoom extents, get a look at our drawing, but if we look out just a little bit more, zoom back one more, we can see that it isn't centered in our drawing. I would like it to be centered in the drawing. So to do an easy way to do that is to go here to print. On the print, you can see that we had it initially set up to be printing to a PDF using monochrome. And right now we have it saying center but because we haven't actually applied this to it. Right now, apply to layout is grayed out. To get it not to gray out, you have to make a change to something in there. I like to just change center of the plot. When you turn it on and off, or turn it off and then back on again, apply to layout will light up. Click that. Now, if we do a preview, now we get to see this is what our final print would look like. Not too bad. We can look at that. I'm just going to do an exit and hit cancel. Because if I hit OK, it's going to actually make the PDF for me. I don't need one. Just hit Cancel. Now my layout's all set up. Now if I do this in extents, now I have my title black nicely centered in the paper space. Then, let's go up here and save this as a template. Let's go up to Save As. And I'm going to go down here and make sure that my drawing list says AutoCAD Drawing Template DWT. Save that. I've already saved one here, so you guys should name it something similar to class template. That's what I called mine for now. Say save. It's gonna say, do you want to replace it? Because I already had one. I say yeah. Um, I'm gonna go in here and say NCS template for class. Laptop keyboards give me trouble. Tiny little flat keys. Say so, okay. Now it's saved. We can close this. This is what our bureau template looks like. So we can see that we're going to get a template that looks not quite as elaborate as work, but more elaborate than what we currently have. Here's like the project data. Here's who did it. What contents are in the drawing. And of course, over here are a few little things that kind of track who opened it and who printed it. But just for fun, let's check our drawing out. Let's go here to new. And I knew we'll open up class template. We'll say okay or open. It's okay, same thing. But now you can see it opens as the next drawing number. You can see I've done this a time or two since I've had this open. So drawing eight. Here's our template. Here's our layout. And if we click here to model space, there's model space. Yay, success. All right, now we're ready to work.